welcome to our program, uh, Breakfast TV. God bless. This is a wonderful recorder. Oh, Just thank you. Listen to it. How do you like it? Uh, how does it feel to sing in a ball meant for playing ice hockey? Um, well, I, we have micro, microphones and, and speakers, so um, there's no feeling really because you know that you could, your voice would not normally fill the, fill the hall. So by using the microphones and speakers, that's, that does the job. You know, so it's really not a, a sense of feeling. One is doing a concert for a much more bigger audience than for an acoustically uh, acceptable hall. Yeah, so you are not afraid of acoustics? Well, if I had to use my voice in that hall, it wouldn't do anything. Um, we're not singing in somewhere for acoustics. We have to use the microphones and the speakers to make sure that what I'm doing is getting through. You know, it's a bit much bigger um, idea. It's an arena-type concert. It's not a, a cosy cameo-type concert. And in fact, uh, you and sports are not that uh, odd uh, combination. You have even even recorded a song for this month's rugby games. That's right. That sounds interesting. Um, well, it's the official ITV song for the, the World um, Rugby Union uh, games that are going on now in Britain and, and the continent. And um, we, we're actually in the charts, <laughs> in the, the pop charts. So it's, I'm very thrilled about that. Uh, your breakthrough as a singer was the Countness in La Noce di Figaro. Does that opera still have some special meaning? To oh, y yes. I mean, I love the opera very much. I love doing opera. I'm, I'm very thrilled to, to sing opera. It's my, my first preference. But I'd also love sort of getting away and playing hooky, play, singing concerts like this and doing recordings and things. Yes. Uh, by the way, what's your own uh, favorite opera? Oh, I like Arabella, Rosen Cavalier, Bocca Negra, Tello, Arabella. Um, I like all those operas. How about uh, modern opera? Uh, they're not really for me, um, because I, I love to sing beautiful music, and uh, my voice is, is made, I think, to sing pretty music, so that's what I like to do. So you have never sung, sang any modern oh, opera? Strauss is as modern as, you can, as I could get, you know, Richard Strauss. Is, it's not too far away from modern. It's, it's quite difficult to do. Uh, do you choose the programs of your concerts yourself? Yes. So, so you can always uh, decide what to sing? And well, it all depends if I would like to put a, a, new, a new aria into um, a concert, and, and I'd like to try one out. And this is, I'd like, I'm trying two arias out here at the moment just to see what I'd like. I'm also singing one of the songs from the Paul McCartney Oratorio, which uh, is not in the program, but I'm hoping that there'll be enough applause to sing it as an encore. Uh, yes. um, maybe hear something about of your new record. Um, no, not from that one. But it's, <laughs> this year there are seven new recordings. Oh, yes, of course. So, yes, of course. so one of the new recordings will include a, 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 one of the songs in this concert. I'm hoping so anyway. Uh, do you still have time for your homeland, New Zealand? Oh yes, I've, I've just spent now three months out there. I literally only been at back since uh, last Saturday, so it's not very many days. It's only six days now. And how about time for Tony and Thomas, your children? Well, I spent a lot of time with them, and I spent all the school holidays together. And now they're in school, they're in boarding school, so I spend weekends very seriously with them and try to. And I have to rush back on Sunday because it's my son's birthday. Oh yes. So I have to catch the first flight back. <laughs> uh, how about your future as a singer? Well, I, I'm sure it's coming to an end soon, so I'm just uh, now only planning year by year. I, I don't want to plan anything too far because um, eventually I think you know there'll be a time when my voice won't respond to what it should be doing and I have to sort of stop eventually. Okay, so what kind of plans do you have for the future? I want to go fishing, I want to play a lot more golf, tennis, I want to do a, see a few more things in the world. <clears throat> I have lots of, lots of small projects that I can do which don't include music. And maybe cooking as well. I've oh, heard, uh, <laughs> I've heard uh, you are a, a superb and a creative cook. Um, well, I, I like cooking, but um, I've learned since how to do Japanese, so I enjoy doing Japanese a lot. Yes. And maybe you could tell us what is your favorite, own favorite food? <laughs> My own favorite food? Oh, I mean, do you, you have French fries, you know, of course, about French. Well, in soggy bread, French, hot French fries and fresh bread and butter. 
that's what I feel like right now. Well, not so healthy. No, <laughs> but all the worst things are just not healthy for you, but that's what I love. Oh, yes. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And if I just could have a wish, when, when you're going to your car, could yeah. you... Now, oh, is this only one? This concert? Yes, yes, just this one, and then I go to back to London to work at Covent Garden. So I'm going into a new opera. Uh, what can I go see? see what I want to Hey, hey, here, here, that's right.